Hi YouTube, Luis here with uh, my first video about how to do an uh, electrical panel upgrade. This specific job was in San Jose, California. Let's start in this part. Um, we have two ground rods because the main water pipe is pre um, is PVC instead of a copper. <clears throat> this county requires to put two ground rods six feet apart each other. The grounding bond starts from the panel to the main pipe, uh, main pipe water, then to the two ground rods, making only loops without cutting the ground, the wire. Uh, one clamp on the water pipe and one clamp per ground rod. Since it's going to be a 200 amp new panel, the uh, ground wire size is going to be a uh, number four solid. Uh, you can see my other video on how to stick the ground rods into the dirt. But you see here, the, the, this is the, the second rod, and it's six feet apart from the first one. Uh, so I, I couldn't show how to run the ground, but you know, you gotta just usually run it underneath the house, <clears throat> on the, uh, you know, using the crawling space. Uh, from the bottom of the panel all the way to the main water and then do what I just mentioned earlier. Now here there is my co-worker with uh, Sergio, which, um, his name is Alex, uh, who breaks the stacco and then fix and patches after inspection. Here we'll tell him to break about two feet, two feet above the old panel based on the new panel measurements. The new panel measures uh, 32 inches by 14 and a half, so we need the clearance about two feet um, above the new panel, because most of the time there is gonna be you know at least one pipe behind the stucco, other than the main roof one. So uh, right here, Alex is showing where to, you know, break, so we can have clearance to start you know, uh, looking for the nails or screws to pull the panel out. But of course we gotta do, the. you know, we gotta cut the power before that, but I'm gonna show you that in a few seconds. So basically, uh, I'm gonna just explain real quick, um, and then I'm gonna show you in a few seconds. The, uh, there's two wires from the okay. PG&E side, uh, which are the two hots and one on the ground. First, uh, once you pull the meter out, because we gotta kill the the main breaker down. Um, after we we shut the breaker down, the main the main panel one, uh, then we we're gonna pull the meter out. So you're gonna see it right there. So we pull the meter out, but don't forget that's still hot in there. So after this, we gotta go up in the roof, cut the 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 first hot wire for P, from PG and E put the wire net on it, then cut the second hot, which you can see in this picture, and then you can cut the ground at the very end. Um, after that, um, you see the clamp on top, the one that holds pg &E? We cut the pipe like on the bottom of that. You know, we just go through with the wires and everything. So that way we can just easily um, unscrew the pipe, pull it out, and then start. we can start working on the panel. Because, you know, if you cut the pipe through, you don't have to worry about the head and taking all that apart and pull the wires each at the time and all that. Here you can see the pg and &E wires just hanging there with the wire nuts on. Um, so, you know, you can just have those wires secure somewhere. Here you can see the wires exposed. Uh, the first step to do is to use white tape to mark uh, all the circuits, you know, following the old labeling from the old panel. I advise to take a picture before cutting um, any wires to see the amperage of each circuit so you can do it the same way with the new panel. Although when you test every circuit after you finish, you can double check to make sure it's proper. Uh, first you cut the white neutrals from the bar, uh, then you cut the ground from the bar and at the end from the breakers. So at this point you can separate now every single wire itself with its own neutral ground and black or with with black and red. So after that you can start taking uh you know the connectors off.
after you take the connectors off, after you take the connectors off, you can um, pull the panel off now. Okay, now it's time to prepare the new panel. Once you open the new panel, you can you need to pull uh, start taking the covers off, which is on the meter side. Uh, meter side is one on top, one on the bottom. So you can see uh, all the bars inside exposed. Now I'm gonna show you. Uh, you see these two on the bottom, and then on the left, on the bottom two. Those two we gotta switch them up, since it's gonna be uh, coming from the roof, cause uh, PG&E doesn't permit, uh, doesn't let you use the locks on the bottom. You gotta pull them on the on the top. Um, here you can see the you know where the hub is gonna be. For the new pipe, since it's a 200 uh, amp panel, it's going to be a, a rigid pipe, 2 inches. Here you can see, like, real quick, the process uh, once we're taking the panel off. So the logs I'm talking about are those bottom ones. You, we got to swap them to the top. Here uh, you can also see the there's two pipes that are going to be interfering with the pg &E side. So we had to cut them up there all the way up so we can uh, do flex into the new panel. Okay. So after we install the panel, we can we got to start putting the the, cir the circuits inside the panel and so we can start landing wires into the neutral bar which you can on the main panels you're allowed to mix neutrals with grounds. Um so at this point I'm um, showing the pipe which uh, earlier I said it was a 2 inch but actually we were allowed to do an inch and a half as you can see right here up there. Uh, we reconnected everything. We also have our new breakers in, which don't forget to use arc faults for bedrooms um, and lights, basically, depending on the specter. Most of the time, they're just required to do it in bedrooms and lighting. Uh, the rest are just regular breakers. Here, we reconnect pg &E since we have inspection in 10 days. This is the only time that they're gonna let us do this because when inspector walks in and if he sees everything connected like in this other job, he, he would just walk away. They won't even try to attempt. Here is, is another example of, uh, there. you see the ground um, boss on the bottom? This is another job that we just did a few months ago. Uh, you see the grounding on the bottom? That's also required these days for, so you can land, uh, you know, the grounding from DirecTV, Comcast, or any low voltage. Uh, so if if I forget something, let me know. Please uh, subscribe, subscribe, and uh, you know if you like it, put a like. Whatever. Uh, I hope you really like it. <laughs> uh, if I forget about something, I believe is um, when I was talking about the hub. It's basically where the pipe sits or screws in. I didn't show that part. Um, basically, it just has four screws in. You put it on, and then you screw the pipe in. the the in, The one inch and a half pipe for the for the PG and E wiring. Uh, also, the other thing that I didn't show it was on top of the roof, which basically you just take the old um, jack, uh, the roof jack or flange. Some people call it flange. I call it roof jack. You can uh, just take it out the old one, put the new one. Sometimes you gotta do some um, roof work towards the shingles, or you know. But basically, that's it. I hope uh, you enjoyed, and um, if you have questions, uh, feel free. And I will.